Hello, my name is Obara E. J. Z. Kinsley. Today, I will be showing you current government empowerment that is ongoing for businesses in Nigeria. Smidan, that you know, is in partnership with Spelling Bank, is empowering businesses in Nigeria. So through this scheme, any business can obtain from 500,000 to 2.5 million. Now, in this video, I will be showing you how to go about the application because it, the application is not the one that everybody is, is familiar with. Okay, here is um, in the application, you will be required to fill uh, a business plan, okay, template. So, I will be showing you how to go about you know the, the business plan template because if you don't feed it well if you don't know how to feed it if you don't know the information to supply you can't get the loan so the first thing to do is first of all to you type sweden okay dot gov dot ng and then here it will land you here now once you come to this platform you scroll down you will see Sterling Bank, as you can see here, Sterling Bank Matching Fund, okay, Sterling Bank slash Smida, okay, can you see it, and then you click on this, now once you click here, you will be required to sign up, so, these are the information that you should input here, business name, the next one is phone number, the next one is email, and password, please make sure you use a password that you can remember. Okay, now the next thing is once you have fit in this information, you come to sign in. You just click on sign in and you also use the same email and email address and password. Now, once you log in, you will see yourself here. So as you can see, it says information. The next one is screening. The next one is payment, personal information, business details, leadership sort analysis and the rest of them so what are you going to do you start with screening to be very sure that you are qualified for this loan so you click what on screening so here are the information you are going to fill once you get to this um, page you are going to see these questions so you are required to answer them the first one says, is your enterprise operating within Anambra, Bayesa, Delta, Ebony, Ekiti, Oshun? So, the next question says, number two question says, is your enterprise wholly Nigerian owned? Is your enterprise, number three, is your enterprise able to employ additional employees from the loan requested? Because this should be a yes. Is your enterprise or protein food processing or agribusiness subsector? This should be yes. Does your enterprise currently employ less than 50 employees? This should be yes. Is your enterprise or protein sinks at least six months? Of course, this should be yes. So what they're looking for is an existing business. So let's just speak yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then we submit. Once you submit, okay. Um, another question says, is there any audited financial statement? Okay, you can meet an accountant for this. And then the next question says, does your enterprise have tax education number? This one is very easy. You can go to jtb.gov.ng to get it. Okay, if you don't have tax education, just go to jtb.gov.ng or you can go to Federal Revenue Service. Okay, to get it and it's free. Now, the next question says, does your enterprise have CAC registration? You must have um cac certificate that's your business must be registered if it is not registered you can join our online training okay coming up in a few days now the next question says does your enterprise have not navdac registration for its product so if it does you can say yes does your enterprise have smidan unique now this one is very simple too does your enterprise have smidan unique 
identification number i think i made a post on this last year and this year so if you don't have it i think it is is free just go to smidan register okay dot ng smidan register dot ng smidan you can see the spelling of smidan s-m-e-d-a-n smidan register just normal register okay dot ng and then you can process the certificate and get it within just less than three minutes you get the certificate okay now the next one says product demand marketing does your enterprise have a market plan okay yes and then does your enterprise sources 65 percent or more of its raw material locally okay um yes of course is looking at enterprises that can um help other uh, businesses grow there's other nigerian businesses grow too okay then the next one says have you had up to 35 percent or more of your product stock on sold in the last six months i for me i wouldn't just say yes on this then i submit <laughs> okay so once you are done with this level uh, i think the next thing should be um payment <laughs> so you are done with the screening the next one should be says dear entrepreneur you have completed you have all okay only try attempts for the screening and it says completed now the next one the next thing to do is to make payments okay you're supposed to make payments for the automated um, business plan okay and the next thing i'll be showing you is how to fill this automated business plan because this business plan is almost the same with that of a uh, nasa microfinance bank as miss loan for those of you who did ask me if you feed um, the business plan yourself so this, this is just the same thing it's very it's not that difficult okay so here is how to fill the business plan template as you can see there's no other information vision statement okay this one is for pigri this particular business plan and template is for pigri so can you see the you can see the equipment list you can see drinkers and all that usually they call office and like, okay, these are the as under equipment list you're going to be seeing this but this is for pigry okay so for those of you who are into poultry you know catfish or other businesses the, yours may not be have the same uh, information but definitely it is structured in this line so yes you can see take a look at the working capital okay this thing i'm doing we charge 10,000 naira and above to do it, but I'm doing it free. So, as you can see here, this one remember is for Piggy, okay? So, take a look. This one is asset list. So, on the asset list, you're going to be seeing this. This is how the field is composition analysis, okay? So, And then here is SWOT analysis that is um, strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats. Okay, so under I you see strength, so you can see the rest of them. This is how it's done. My name is Opara EJZ. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe now. Subscribe now, please. I need you to subscribe. I also need you to like comment and share so that youtube can help us promote this video god bless you